All right, everybody. What it is, it's, a, you know, it's Friday, November the 1st. And I'm really, really sorry that I've been so, so behind on so much video content that I've been meaning to put out of, frankly, quite a lot of you watching this. There's been some great shows. I don't know why my computer is fucking acting possessed right now, but that's enough of that. Anyway, uh, much further to my point, uh, to get some original Charm Networks material, uh, hold on, I'm gonna turn that down ever so slightly, up on the internet, I'm just gonna do as short and as in camera a YouTube video I can as to the CDs that are currently in rotation in my car. And I'm using an original Beam Rider song here, a rare one from the third one, it's called Body Scan. Uh, but anyway, let's, let's get into it, let's get into it, let's get into it. Alright, first we got The Strokes Room on Fire. Big, big hit, uh, from 2003. Great record, we got, uh, Reptilia on here. Always a classic, 1251. Meet Me in the Bathroom has that sort of American hardcore style documentary that I really want to watch. Uh, The End of the Is No End and I Can't Win. I remember being really good. I haven't listened to this whole thing in a while. Should be fun. Next we got the Buzzcocks. All right, you gotta love some Buzzcocks. Uh, let's see, this is all the singles up through, I guess, the end of 1979. Uh, and, uh, none of the, uh, you know, the four-piece lineup with, uh, what's-his-face, Devoto from fucking magazines in here. But as you can see, you got a lot of hits, and a lot of the B-sides are really song, uh, strong. I love, um, <coughs> Oh Shit, Autonomy, Noise and Noise. Never liked Just Lust, but Lipstick, which, you know, is the same thing. Use the same riff as the one magazine song. It's really cool. <coughs> I don't know, whatever. We got some good ones. And, of course, all the A-sides, it's all the ones everybody knows and loves. Next up, we got a real deep gut. We got Passu. Passu was sort of like an experimental post-punk project that uh, came out on MT6 Records years before I knew those people. And I first found out about them when my horrifically embarrassing first ever band played a show with them. And a few weeks later, my asshole best friend, who I no longer talk to, uh, said to me, uh, we were joking around about them at band practice, and he said to me, Oh, Mac, you got a ch ch trush on Passu, girl. And I'm like, you know, I was mad about it at the time, but looking back on it 20 years, dude was exactly right. And uh, frankly, if I didn't, it would have behooved me to do so. Great record, though. They could have used some riffs. Maybe had I, you know, hung hooked up with those people in some way, maybe I could have provided them. All right, and they also, so whoever recorded this, too, did a bit of a Martin Hannett job on it, and I don't mean that in a good way. Everything's real too soft and quiet. Especially considering how they sounded live. But who, you know, I'll tell you who never disappoints live or on record is fucking Hum. We got Downward is Heavenward over here, which, uh, you know, okay, so it isn't, it isn't as necessarily packed with hit after recognizable hit as the one before it is. You know, you don't got stars or uh, I like your hair long on here, but you do have fucking Coming Home and uh, Apollo and Green to Me, and especially Coming Home and Apollo, that shit's fucking sick. Moving on, Metallica's Black Album. Now, I listened to this in full the other day, and as you can see, it's got the least interesting cover art out of all of them. I'm having trouble getting the snake in here with the thing. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. I mean, considering that you can't hear the bass in thrash metal, at the very least, it's nice to be able to hear the bass on this one. And, you know, it has its moments, just like... I swear to God, after nothing, nothing else matters, I kind of completely tuned out and lost interest when I put the CD on the other day. Uh, and finally, uh, back to the ladies, much like Passu there, we got a... Uh, oh, from only two years later, even though it's very different parts of my life... Uh, I'm sorry, I had it upside down. We got Passu's... I'm sorry, not Passu. Love of Diagrams from Australia. The record's called Mosaic. They're like an angry, angular, hard, post-punk, and 80s hardcore-influenced version of Rainer Maria, basically. And uh, they're from Australia. And much like Double Dagger, who's Ragged Rubble, uh, you know, came out, uh, I think, a few months after this. They got a song called, uh, as you can see there, Form and Function. And it's even kind of spaced out, kind of like the way they sell it in the Dagger song. 
All right, now you're gonna get a bit of a bonus here because I got some uh, permanently owned hard copies from the Beyond Video Dollar Bin. First off, we got Pretty Woman, which has got you know Richard Richard Gere and Julia Roberts in it, and it's it's all right, it's all right. But the big deal and the real reason I got this money is because of this motherfucker, George Costanza himself, Jason Alexander's in it, and who gives a fuck about anything else about? with this movie but you know George Costanza next we got The Lovely Bones it was kind of like a popular book among book nerds back in the aughts and then they made a pretty good movie out of it I never read the book kind of not planning to but the movie I remember being like really oh shit Imperioli's in this whoa I didn't know that but anyway I don't know could be a hit uh but in any event I remember like going to the movie just because my friends wanted to go Peter Jackson, really. And, uh, I don't know, I remember it being pretty good. Uh, Brian Eno, uh, Babies on Fire's on the soundtrack. And then there's this thing, which I've never seen before, with, uh, let's see, Dakota Fanning, Tony Collette, and I don't know who Alice Eve is. I really don't. Uh, I've never heard that name before in my life. And, uh, what's going on here? Wendy, Independent, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Leaves her group home, or trying to, meh, 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 Something about Star Trek, and writes in her free time, say. Uh, I'll probably uh, uh, miss the deadline. Ah, could be pretty cool. Sounds like a neat road movie. But anyway, yeah, that's kind of the idea here. And uh, you all have a wonderful November, and good luck with whatever the next presidential administration is, because it's going to suck. See you soon. Bye.